Hey everybody, I'm Tanya, Holistic Health Practitioner here at Critical Bench and today in this video I'm going to talk very briefly about Alzheimer's and the brain. Now as most of us know, or all of us know, Alzheimer's is a disease of the brain. It is the neurological disorder that causes progressive cognitive decline over a period of anywhere from 4 to 20 years. So it's while we're able to identify stages of the disease as far as how quickly one progresses or how quickly their cognitive decline is once diagnosed, it's not really set um, for every single patient. It's, um, some people may progress very rapidly, others not so rapidly. So um, it can be a four year process, it can be a 20 year process. And um, there are seven identifiable stages and typically are identified because of the types of behaviors and um, the decline that is present in, in the behavior and how the person is acting. Now, with it being a disease of the brain, um, it makes it very, well, it makes it on, on one hand fascinating because the brain is a, is a fascinating machine, basically, um, that is ours. Um, but it also makes it a very unknown territory because there is so much about the brain that we're still learning. Um, with Alzheimer's, what a scan will show up is an accumulation of what are called amyloid plaques. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into a really sciencey conversation here. I'm gonna keep this just, a very general um, to maybe give some visuals on the visual person so a scan will show amyloid plaque so this is a hard substance that accumulates and it actually will just when you think of it it's a hard substance that just prevents brain cells from talking to each other and communicating now in a healthy brain these plaques would be um, they, they would just kind of break down and be eliminated but in someone with Alzheimer's that's not the case now recently I was um, sent some new information about research that's being done that shows that actually this accumulation or the formation of amyloid plaques is actually a positive thing in terms of identifying Alzheimer's maybe early on because if I'm understanding what I was reading and listening to correctly it's these plaques what they're doing is what they're supposed to be doing if there's a problem. So think of it as if you have an injury and you get cut, you put a Band-Aid on it. Well, the Band-Aid is there to do a job, okay? Um, that's, a, that's not a great example, but it's the only one I can think of on the spot here. So um, there's a lot going on with that research, and I will be, as I learn more and find out more about it, I'll definitely be bringing that to you in other videos. But right now, what I do know is that with Alzheimer's usually not being diagnosed until about the fourth stage, these plaques have built up and they're quite hard and they prevent that communication between cells in the brain and death of brain cells. So if brain cells are dying and they can't communicate with each other, it only, I guess, makes logical sense that certain things, uh, behaviors, speech, mobility, communication, the uh, ability to problem solve and think would be compromised and progressively decline. With normal aging, uh, brain tissue will shrink. I mean, we're born all fresh and new and everything's at 100% capacity and functioning capability. As we get older, um, you know, it's like any, any type of equipment or machinery that you use, it starts to wear down. So our brains will go through of being used and there's some shrinkage in tissue. However, in a person with Alzheimer's disease, the shrinkage of brain tissue is um, very much exacerbated. It's it's quite quick. It's very profound, and um, it you know essentially, end of story is what's happening in the brain causes that disruption. In it causes that disruption in that the brain cells cannot communicate with each other. They cannot talk. Messages stop being sent, and with that. Um, a person, as they progress through the disease, become more reliant on, you know, they need more assistance, they need more care, they need people to help them with, you know, simple, navigating simple everyday tasks and, uh, you know, stuff. They become lost on common roots, they have an inab inability to find words, the forgetfulness becomes increasingly profound and, and very much noticeable and that's primarily like with people that are family family members close friends people that have a lot of contact with this person that the forgetfulness because we all can be forgetful and especially as we get older when there's more to remember we can get forgetful so forgetfulness in and of itself is not a glaring symptom of Alzheimer's we're talking profound noticeable significant memory loss that seems to be you know gaining momentum in terms of how quickly and how just how slow the inability is to recall even recent events so 
Basically, Alzheimer's, yes, it is a disease of the brain. These plaques form, they make it impossible for brain cells to communicate and messages to be sent. And as a result, normal everyday function become compromised and it's a progressive decline. Okay, I promised you I would keep it brief and I did. Thank you for joining me and thank you for listening. I hope this video helped you in, in even a small way in understanding a little bit more about Alzheimer's and the brain. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel. We've got lots of great content, lots of videos here, something for everybody. Um, if, um, if you'd like, if you have a question or a comment, please just put them below because I do check those and I will get back to you. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day and be well.